Hello guys, this is Mauri Majanoja, and you are watching World of Warcraft LoL Lesson 83. Today we will be talking about the Bleeding Hollow Clan. The Bleeding Hollow Clan is one of the original clans from the world of Draenor. They inhabited the Tanan jungle area. They are called the Bleeding Hollow Clan because of their chieftain, Kilrog Deadeye. During a vision quest he saw his death and in a rather symbolic gesture he ripped out one of his eyes. In Warcraft 2, the color of the clan was changed from green, so they don't look like the Bone Chewer clan. However, their colors are green today. They were one of the first few clans to accept Ner'zhul's offer and drink the blood of Manoroth, thus taking the corruption upon themselves. Before they attacked Stormwind, their leader Kilrog killed off a few of his sons and grandsons because they opposed his leadership. During the First War, the clan was set to attack the human city of Stormwind. The attack was led by Kilrog with the help of Shogal from the Twilight's Hammer clan. However, the plan turned out to be a great disaster for the Horde, and both Kilrog and Shogal blamed the disaster upon each other. Before their argument could rip the Horde apart, Gul'dan came to fix the problem by reinstalling Black Hand as the new war chief. During the Second War, the Bleeding Hollow Clan fought under Black Hand and later under Orgrim Doomhammer when he had taken over. His clan was stationed throughout Kasmodan where it controlled vital mining and oil operations. When Orgrim Doomhammer was forced to withdraw back into Kasmo Dan after sending a large part of the Horde away to kill the treacherous Ghoul Dan and regain the last honor of the Orcs, Deadeye was one of the few that agreed with his decision. After the Horde's defeat, they were able to evade capture by Alliance forces. They hid from the Alliance for two years. Kilrog was summoned together with other chieftains near the side of the Dark Portal. To discover that Tyrann Gorfiend reopened the portal and the Horde reunited once again under Ner'zhul's leadership. Deadeye's knowledge of affairs in Azeroth enabled Ner'zhul and Gorfiend to successfully plan their next move. Kilrog, together with Chroma's Hellscream and Kargath Bladefist, were used to recover valuable artifacts all around Azeroth that Ner'zhul needed. On the way from Hellfire Citadel to the Black Temple to begin the ritual, Ner'zhul, accompanied by Tyrone Gorfiend, made a stop in the ruined Drenai necropolis of Okin Dawn, a prospect that frightened the usually fearless chieftain, believing that it would doom them if they went there. That is where the chieftain of the Bleeding Hollow clan met his end. They were invaded by Alliance forces and his throat was slashed by Danath Trollbane. Ner'zhul had betrayed all of them and started opening portals to escape and only a few of his selected followers were taken with him. The presence of so many portals made too much energy and the whole world was collapsing. Just before Draenor collapsed, the Bleeding Hollow Clan along with Warsong and Shattered Hand managed to escape through the portal. However, some of them weren't so lucky. Those that escaped managed to evade Alliance capture, everyone except the Bleeding Hollow Clan. They were rounded up by the Alliance forces and placed into internment camps. Once Troll stormed the internment camps and freed the orcs, he took the Bleeding Hollow clan under his new horde. Even though the clan is now under the horde, it still has its own presence much like the Warzone clan or the Frostwolf clan. Those that remained in Outland were split apart. One portion joined the Fell Horde, and another uncorrupted one resided at the ancestral crowns of the Bleeding Hollow, on the edge of Terokar Forest. Led by Kilrog's son, Jorin, they were forced out of their lands by a clan of ogres, and fled to the safety of the Maghar stronghold of Garadar in Nagrand. If you would like to find out more about the Bleeding Hollow clan, you should read the books called The Rise of the Horde, Beyond the Dark Portal and Lord of the Clans, all by Christy Golden. Thanks for watching. We hope you have enjoyed, and we will be coming back with more. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And also give us feedback on what you think 
and what you would like to see next.